Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be creating or doing a video on how to create a new opportunity stage in Salesforce. So this might happen if uh, you need to either downsize your stages or upsize your stages. Right now we are on a test opportunity in one of our orgs and we have a business requirement to create a new stage um, that's called a demo stage between needs analysis and value proposition. This is needed because between these two stages we want to show our clients the product that we will be giving to them. So from here we have two options. We can either go to setup or we can go to edit object. I'm going to go to edit object. It's a little bit quicker. Um, it'll take you to set up, but for the opportunity. And I kind of like to call the setup uh, kind of the admin back end of Salesforce. So let's go to fields and relationships. And in the quick find, I'm going to type in stage. So let's go and click on stage. This is what we're going to be adding to. It is a pick list. So for the values, well, let's look at it's going to go between needs analysis and value proposition. So I'm going to have a probability somewhere between 20 and 50%. So let's click new. And this stage is going to be a demo. So the probability of this, let's go ahead and go right in between at 35%. It will be open, it's, which is just meaning like the opportunity hasn't closed one or closed loss yet. And then for forecast category, I'm going to keep this in pipeline. It's not quite best case or not quite commit. And it's not closed, it's not emitted, so we'll keep it there in pipeline. Um, as for description, it's not required, but I'll just type in that this is showing the prospective client our product. So let's go ahead and click Save. And let's see, since it shows demo at the very bottom, I want to look and see if on our opportunity it's showing at the correct spot. So I hit Refresh. And it does not look like it's in the correct spot. So it's over here at the very end before closed. So I'm going to come back to our pick list values and reorder them. So we're going to click on demo and I'm not quite sure you can't drag it. So let's just go ahead and click on it and then bring it up between needs analysis and value proposition. So let's click save. Here on the back end, it'll show between these two right in the right spot. Let's go ahead and make sure that it is on the opportunity showing on the right spot. So I hit refresh again. All right, there you go. We have our demo between needs analysis and value proposition. And you can do this for different stages as well. So maybe sometimes you need to add something between identify decision makers and perception analysis, or maybe you'll need to take it out. Um, so thank you for joining me today for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I can make more helpful videos like this. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.